I have another flying disaster story. This guy's in a flight from Toronto to Vancouver. He's sitting next to this woman in pod seating. And if you don't know what pod seating is, it's the image behind me. The woman next to him goes, hey, can you switch seats so I can sit next to my husband? Him thinking, sure, it's just another pod seating in a different row, goes, sure, I'll do that. She goes, oh, yeah, and by the way, it's 18B is where he's sitting. Now, 18B turned out to be a middle seat in the back of the plane. Once he realized, I said, hey, hey, I'm not, I'm not switching. She goes, oh, you already agreed to it. You already agreed to it. My husband's on his way up here. Now, he goes, did you really expect me to switch my pod seat for a middle seat in the back of the plane? Now, she's throwing a fit. She's all upset. She can't believe that he backed down on the agreement. Again, we about the last time I talked about this, who thinks it's okay to screw someone over? I've talked about this before. Who thinks it's okay just to screw someone over? I wouldn't give up a pod seating for an aisle seat. If I'm flying and can afford it, I'm a fly in comfort. Not cramped up with everybody else like I normally am. <laughs> I know how bad that is. But I make do. It just kills me that this Karen, she was upset about it. I, I still don't understand why she's upset with the guy. Again, it's not his fault you tried to screw him over. And luckily for him, he stood up for his rights and not switching to go in the back of the plane and sit in the middle. Let me know what you think. That's all I got. Bye, everybody.